Introduction. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, students. Today we will learn organisms and their population. Can anybody tell me what are organisms? Sir, organisms are the living things that are capable of reacting to stimuli, reproduction, growth, and homeostasis. Well said, Ria. And the examples of organisms are mammals, birds, bacteria, fungi, etc. But sir, how do we define their population? Good question, Rajesh. We know that the population of organisms has certain characteristics. On the basis of their characteristics, we define the population of organisms. In this lesson, you will learn organisms and their population. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to discuss major abiotic factors, describe responses to abiotic factors, describe adaptations, define population and its attributes, discuss population growth, explain growth models, discuss life history variation, explain population interaction. Organism and its environment. Nature consists of two complex, interdependent, mutually reactive and interrelated entities, the organisms and the environment. The organisms can survive only in appropriate environments, interact with each other and are influenced by the whole complex of environmental factors. Ecology is the branch of biology that deals with the study of interactions between organisms and environment. A biome is a major ecological community of organisms adapted to a particular climatic and environmental condition on a large geographic area in which they occur. Habitat is defined as a place where an organisms or a biological population normally lives or occur. Major abiotic factors. The term abiotic refers to the non-living or physical components of an ecosystem. These are temperature, water, light, soil. Temperature All organisms are adapted to survive between a minimum and maximum range of temperature. The Earth's surface has different temperatures in different areas. While some animals and plants can bear extreme heat or extreme cold, and some survive well in moderate temperature ranges. There are animals whose body temperature fluctuates in different environmental conditions. The animals like fishes and frogs that are cold-blooded animals. The animals that can regulate their body temperature according to the outside temperature are known as homeothermal or warm-blooded animals. In geographical processes, temperature also plays key role. The difference in the temperature of different oceanic water in combination with winds and the Earth's rotation produces oceanic currents. Water Water is an abiotic factor of ecosystem. All the living things need water. Water is essential to life on Earth. Water carries dissolved gases, such as the oxygen needed by the aquatic animals and the carbon dioxide needed by the aquatic plants and bodies of water act as heat sinks to slow down the effects of large temperature changes, thereby helping to create a more stable environment for the living things. Water is even a key biochemical ingredient inside the cells, where it contributes its hydrogen and oxygen atoms to many vital processes such as photosynthesis. Light Light is the main source of energy for organisms. Most plants utilize sunlight for the process of photosynthesis, where light energy is converted into chemical energy and then into complex organic substances. Light is also essential to other biological processes such as flowering in plants, sight in animals and the migration of birds. The production of food and oxygen both depend on light. Plants as food source indirectly transfer the energy to animals. The intensity of light affects animals such as 
their skin color, sensitivity, sight, etc. The insects also use UV light to distinguish between flowers. Soil Soil is the basic medium for most land-based ecosystems. Soil is a complex and varied substance. Soil plays an important role in the nitrogen cycle because it is the site of both nitrogen fixation and denitrification. Soil is a natural reservoir for the inorganic mineral elements that are essential to living things. Elements like iron, zinc, calcium and phosphorus. The best soil also contains a lot of organic material called humus that originates from living things. Soil rich in humus support abundant plant life. Responses to abiotic factors The process by which organisms maintain relatively constant internal environment under varying external conditions is called homeostasis. In endotherms, metabolic pathways and enzymes often function at their maximum at a temperature near 37 degrees Celsius. These animals are able to maintain their constant metabolic activities by maintaining constant body temperature. This is achieved through evaporation of water from their bodies during summer and by insulating action of fur, feather, subcutaneous layer of fat, etc. during cold weather of winters. Thus, endotherms are able to remain active even under cold conditions by exhibiting different types of adaptations to minimize the loss of heat. Regulate Many organisms are capable of maintaining homeostasis by the physiological activities and it ensures constant body temperature, constant osmotic concentration, etc. Most mammals control body temperature via a gland in the brain called the hypothalamus. The thermoregulatory center in this gland regulates heat loss and production. This center is influenced by nerve impulses from receptors near the skin and the temperature of the blood flowing through it. Conform. Animals or plants that allow some conditions within their bodies to vary with external changes are called conformers. Most of the animals and nearly all plants cannot maintain a constant internal environment. Their body temperature changes with the ambient temperature. The osmotic concentration of body fluids of aquatic animals changes with those of the ambient water or osmotic concentrations. Such animals are called Osmoconformers. Thermoregulation is an energy expensive process. Heat loss or gain is a function of surface area, and hence small animals are not found in polar regions. Migrate. By this mechanism, the organisms can move away temporarily from the stressful conditions in the habitat to another habitat with hospitable conditions. The whale that migrates the longest in the grey whale, which migrates about 12,500 miles. The insect that migrates the longest is the desert locust, which travels about 2,800 miles. Suspend. Those organisms which cannot migrate suspend their metabolic functions during the stressful period and resume their functions at the return of their favorable conditions. Hibernation in frogs and certain reptiles Polar bears and estivation in some snails and fish are examples of suspension. Adaptations The adjustment or changes in behavior, physiology and structure of an organism to become more suited to an environment is called adaptation. Some of the adaptations The most important is the habit of living together in communal or family groups. Animals can derive a lot of benefit from spending time with other members of the same species. They can help each other find food, defend against predators, and care for young. Several animal species, including scorpion fish and leaf frogs, can change their appearance to match their surroundings. Desert Plant Adaptations Desert Plant Adaptations Some plants, called Succulents 
and store water in their stems or leaves. Some plants have no leaves or small seasonal leaves that only grow after it rains. The lack of leaves helps reduce water loss during photosynthesis. Long root systems spread out wide or go deep into the ground to absorb water. Some plants have a short life cycle, germinating in response to rain, growing, flowering and dying within one year. Tropical Rainforest Adaptations Tropical Rainforest Some plants climb on others to reach the sunlight. Some plants grow on other plants to reach the sunlight. Flowers on the forest floor are designed to lure animal pollinators since there is relatively no wind on the forest floor to aid in pollination. Smooth bark and smooth or waxy flowers speed the runoff of water. Populations Population Attributes An individual cannot live in isolation in nature. The individual is often associated with other individuals of its own kind for its survival and perpetuation of its species. All the individuals of a species occurring in a locality constitute a population. In ecology, a population is a group of individuals of the same species inhabiting the same area and functioning as a unit of biological community. A group of snails of the same species present in a given area represents a population. Characteristics of Population Density The size of population is generally expressed in terms of its density. Population density is the number of individuals of a species present in a unit area at a given time. Mathematically, D is equal to N upon S, where D stands for population density and denote the number of individuals of species at a specific time and S represents the number of units of the space. Birth rate. The ratio of live births in an area to the population of that area expressed per 1000 population per year. Death rate. Death rate can also be tabulated according to age or cause. The ratio of deaths is an area to the population of that area expressed per 1000 per year. Sex ratio. The proportion of males to females in a given population usually expressed as the number of males per 100 females. Population growth. The size of population is not a constant parameter, but it keeps on changing with time. As it depends upon various factors such as climatic changes, food availability, etc. The four major processes which play key role in changing the density of population of a particular area are natality, the birth rate, which is the ratio of total live births to total population in a particular area over a specified period of time. It is denoted by B. Mortality. It is defined as the ratio of the total number of deaths to the total population. It is denoted by D. Immigration. When the peoples or animals moving and settling in a country to which they are not native, it is denoted by I. Emigration. It refers to one-way outward movement of individuals from the local population. It results in decrease in population. It is denoted by E. If N is the population density at time T, then its density at time T plus 1 is NT plus 1, which equals NT plus B plus I minus D plus E. Growth Models the characteristic patterns of growth of a population with time are called population growth model. There are two models. Exponential model, logistics model, exponential model. This model is based on the fact that any species can potentially increase in numbers according to a geometric series. For example, if a species has non-overlapping populations and each organism produces R offspring, then population numbers n in generations t is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on is equal to 
nt is equal to n0 into r raised to the power t. When t is large, then the equation can be approximated by an exponential function. nt equals n0 ERT. There are three possible outcomes. Population exponentially declines. Population exponentially increases. Population does not change. Applications of the exponential model. Microbiology, growth of bacteria. Conservation biology, restoration of disturbed populations. Insect rearing, prediction of yield. Plant or insect quarantine. Population growth of introduced species. Fishery. Prediction of fish dynamics. Logistics model. Logistics model suggested the rate of population increase may be limited. That is, it may depend on population density. R equals R0 into 1 minus N by K. At low densities, that is, N is much, much less than K, the population growth rate is maximum and equals to R0. Population growth rate declines with population numbers, N, and reaches 0 when N equals K. Parameter K is the upper limit of population growth and it is called carrying capacity. If population numbers exceed K, then population growth rate becomes negative and population numbers decline. The dynamics of the population is described by the differential equation. dn by dt equals rn equals r0 n into 1 minus n by k. Life history variation. By using the available habitat, organisms evolve towards the most efficient reproductive strategy. Some organisms breed only once in their lifetime. For example, Pacific salmon fish, bamboo. And some of the organisms breed many times during their life. For example, most mammals and birds. The evolution of organism depends upon biotic and abiotic factors. Population interactions. A community is a group of interacting populations of different species. Populations of animals interact with each other and their environment in a variety of ways. One of the primary interactions a population has with its environment and other populations is due to feeding behavior. Communalism is an association between two different species where one species enjoys a benefit and the other is not significantly affected. Amenalism is an association between two organisms of different species where one species is inhibited or killed and the other is unaffected. The characteristics of interaction among species are predation, competition, parasitism, communalism, mutualism. Predation a form of symbiotic relationship between two organisms of unlike species in which one of them acts as predator that captures and feeds on the other organism that serves as the prey. Predation is a process of major importance in influencing the distribution, abundance and diversity of species in ecological communities. Successful predation increases the population size of the predator and decreases population size of the prey. These effects on the prey population indirectly changing the abundances of other species. One example of such indirect effects of predation involves the trophic cascade. A trophic cascade occurs when the effects of predation cascade down the food chain to affect plants or other species that are not directly eaten by the predator. Predation can either increase or decrease the number of species that coexist in a community depending on the favorability of the environment and on the competitive status of the preferred prey species. Competition Competition is the conflict between organisms for a limited essential resource. Intraspecific competition occurs when organisms of the same species use the same resource at the same time. 
interspecific competition occurs when organisms of different species use the same resource at the same time. Competitive exclusion occurs when one species is better at attaining a resource than another species such that over time the poorer competitor may disappear entirely from the community. Resource partitioning occurs when the two species begin using the resources differently such that both are able to coexist. Parasitism In parasitism, an individual organism, the parasite, consumes nutrients from its host, resulting in a decrease in health to the host. In extreme cases, parasites can cause disease in the host organism. In that case, they are considered as pathogens. We divide parasites into two categories. Endoparasites, the organisms which live inside the body of their hosts. Examples of endoparasites include flukes, tapeworms, fungi, bacteria, and protozoa. Ectoparasites, the organism which live and feed on the outside of the body of their host. Ectoparasites include ticks and lice, plants, protozoa, bacteria, and fungi. Plants and animals typically act as hosts. Parasite transmission. For all parasites, the host exists as an island of habitat. But the island lives for a finite period of time, and the parasites must find a new host before the existing one dies. Transmission to a new host can happen either directly or through a vector. In direct transmission, the parasite moves from one host to another of the same species without an intermediate organism. In vector transmission, an intermediate organism, the vector, transfers the parasite from one host to the next. Commensalism Commensalism is a relationship between two organisms where one organism benefits and the other is unaffected. For example, the pearl fish uses the sea cucumber for a hideout for predators. The pearl fish will live in the sea cucumber's anus, backing into the whole tail first so its head can stick out. When a predator of the pearl fish comes near, it will bring its head in so it can't be detected. The sea cucumber is unaffected by this activity. Mutualism. Mutualism is the association between organisms of two different species in which each is benefited. Mutualistic arrangements are most likely to develop between organisms with widely differing living requirements. The partnership between nitrogen-fixing bacteria and leguminous plants is an example, as is the association between cows and rumen bacteria. The bacteria live in the digestive tract and help digest the plants eaten by the cow. The associations between tree roots and certain fungi are often mutualistic. Did you know? Fungi are necessary to create balance between the different components of the ecosystem and guarantee the stability and continuity of life. Some fungi secrete enzymes and acids that help to treat diseases such as the penicillium fungus which produces the antibiotic penicillin. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Nature consists of two complex, interdependent, mutually reactive and interrelated entities, the organisms and the environment. The term abiotic refers to the non-living or physical components of an ecosystem. The process by which organisms maintain relatively constant internal environment under varying external conditions is called homeostasis. Animals or plants that allow some conditions within their bodies to vary with external changes are called conformers. Migration is the mechanism through which organisms can move away temporarily from the stressful conditions in the habitat to another habitat with hospitable conditions. Hibernation in frogs and certain reptiles, polar bears, and estivation in some snails and fish 
are examples of suspension. The adjustment or changes in behavior, physiology and structure of an organism to become more suited to an environment is called adaptation. All the individuals of a species occurring in a locality constitute a population. Processes which play a key role in changing the density of a population are natality, mortality, immigration and emigration. The characteristics of interaction among species are predation, competition, parasitism, commensalism and mutualism.